this is dad's Chernobyl. You heard him right. He just said this was his dad's Chernobyl. And he put a little sticker on it. Caution radiation. Inside is uranium-238, some of the most radioactive stuff in his late father's large collection at his home near San Pedro in Montgomery. The kind of material that makes Geiger counters click like crazy. The, the more it chirps, the, the, more, the, the more radiation you're getting. And I was detecting it from inside the house. Normal natural radiation levels in Albuquerque from things like the sun are well under 100 CPMs or counts per minute. But some of this stuff had readings of 156,000 CPMs. It sends out alpha, beta, and gamma radiation, which needs to be isolated from the public. The man behind this makeshift lab was former Los Alamos scientist Earl Fullman. He worked on atomic bombs in the 50s and 60s. He was on the island just before the mushroom cloud rose above Bikini Atoll. When Fullman retired, he set up a lab in his house and kept on working. I had no idea that he was playing with this stuff, not this stuff. His family says he even discovered new materials, which he used in his ceramic arts and jewelry. He believed that some elements had personalities and that they were nasty. In June of 2010, officials got a call about hazardous materials at the house, and soon the place was crawling with people in hazmat suits. Records even show that at one point, the FBI put together a conference call to discuss the threat of possible weapons of mass destruction. But after the initial call went out, most of the radioactive waste was left behind when it was determined it did not pose an immediate threat. Fullman died a month later. The paper trail shows the feds left the cleanup to state police, and state police left the mess to a female friend of Fullman's. She tried to get contractors to clean it up and then sent a letter to all agencies involved saying it was too expensive and gave up. And so the radioactive material just sat there for nearly two years. Why, why wasn't anything done immediately to get them out of there? The state's nuclear regulatory division, along with the feds, um, screen the scene. It was their responsibility. So we kind of assumed that it would be handled by the appropriate folks at the higher levels. In November, Fullman's son moved into the Northeast Albuquerque home and eventually called the New Mexico Environment Department for help. I told him I had this material and that it had to be safely put. I didn't want to take it out in the desert and bury it. They told him to call officials in Washington. On Monday, nearly two years after the waste was discovered, EPA contractors hauled out materials by the barrel. It's radiation, so uh, you know, long-term exposure would would be uh, very uh, could be cancerous. Even dirt in the backyard was dug up. Everything is being shipped out of state. Some to Utah, the rest to Idaho. I I don't want anybody using it as a dirty bomb in an improvised nuclear device. What we're trying to do is we're trying to minimize that threat. We're trying to eliminate that threat actually.